Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. Heather Kamala here with your Keto Kids Yoga Circle Time for Thursday. And today is April, or this month is April, and we're in springtime. So we are going to do some art, and the art matches our wonderful book, which is a special download on our website, ketokidsyoga.com. So K-I-D-O, Keto Kids Yoga dot com. And this is called uh, Keto Kids Club Make a Book. And this one is available as a download on our website. So I wanted to let you know that from the very beginning. And the book is $10. It's a download that you print out the pages that you want. There's 50 plus pages. And it's filled with content that's um, story, the story of our season, it's Uma and the Crystal Balls, and it's story, it's yoga, games, songs, art, all of those. Here's a little picture of Uma and the Crystal Balls. Yes, 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 every day when I have my 30-minute video, I always talk about my website, and I've been working on it a lot. So even on the weekends, uh, in the evenings, I've been doing a lot of extra stuff. You know, those people who own their own businesses, like a kid's yoga business, they wear all the hats, right? So that's me. So good morning. Good morning, everybody. All right. So we are going to, let's see, we're going to work on today the continuation of our spring uh, spring projects. So all the way through May, we're going to be doing some spring projects. And I have some cute little pieces here that uh, we're working on a puppet show. Let me get my scissors. Oops, they're over there. That's okay, I have two pairs. All right. So get some tape. And today what we're going to do is we're going to work on some paper puppets. And then tomorrow we're going to have a puppet show, and that's the end of our week. Today is Thursday, and tomorrow it's Friday. So Monday through Friday, here we are doing our videos on Facebook Live. This will also be recorded. So we have some little characters here that are flying through the air. And we're going to make some more little characters. Ah, here we have it. So what we're going to do today is an art project, and then afterwards we'll do some yoga, and then we'll end with a story. Yay! All right. Let's see. So the for today, what I'd like to show you guys is this wonderful whiteboard. I'm going to use my marker and draw right on there and show you how to do your own drawing of your puppet. This is what we did a couple of days ago where the kids could do it themselves. The puppet is made because we tape it right on there. We tape it right on to what? An old pencil, an old um, pen that doesn't work anymore, maybe a chopstick. Let's see, where do I have? I just save a lot of old pens and pencils. We obviously go through a lot of those. Uh, here's another example. Another example here, which is we were doing the alphabet with little puppets. Hello, hello. Good morning, Amelia. Good morning, Bruno. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, ustedes. We are working today on our paper puppets because we're going to have a puppet show tomorrow on Friday. So make sure you come here tomorrow. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we were saying that we could use all the different things. We could use the... Um, I just realized I don't have my glasses. Uh, we, <laughs> Amelia, you hear me say that a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, we could use chopstick for a little uh, paper puppet. We could use a pencil that nobody's using. We could use an old pen because we use jelly roll pins here. And so today I'm going to show you guys about our characters from the story. So what is the story? Yep, the story is, there she is, that's Siobhan. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> Siobhan the mermaid and Sweetie the salmon. And those are two of the characters from Uma and the Crystal Balls. That's our spring story. But there are other characters too. There are actually, um, 
for, well, let's just say in this story, there are characters which repeat, repeat, repeat through different seasons. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have a story for not just spring, but summer story. Summer story is coming up. It's oh, one of my favorites. I just love all of them because I've created these stories with a lot of heart over many years. So, <laughs> and together with the kids, we really, it's like a co-creation all the time, right? So we have our spring story, summer, and then we have fall and winter. And let's see, uh, the characters that, that kind of weave throughout the stories, one of them is Nana the monkey. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a little paper puppet doot, 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 of Nana the monkey. Okay, are you ready? You can get a pen and you can get your paper and then we're going to start. And then we'll do some yoga and we'll end with a story today. All right, we have, we have uh, 30 minutes. Ready, go. And the first thing you're going to do is draw a circle. It could be kind of like an oval or a circle. This is Nana the monkey. So we're drawing a monkey, okay? Aha, you see that? All right, so the circle, and then we're going to draw some ears. Tell me when you see a monkey. Uh-huh. And then the next thing we're going to do is draw a triangle for the nose. Okay? And if you want, you can color that in. All right? And then you're going to draw the letter M, that's the hair. M, like, hmm, mama. Okay, M, it's this, it looks like this. Ah, do you see a monkey yet? Mm-hmm. And then you're going to draw two lines that go up for the mouth. Should I slow down or you're fine? Okay, I keep going and you copy me. Two lines that look almost like the letter U, like that. And that's for the mouth. And if you want the mouth to be open, you could do another little one down here and then you could color that in. All right, is it starting to look like a monkey? And the last thing are the eyes will be two rainbows. And the rainbow we know looks like that and that. This and then two eyes will be circles. Circle, circle. And you can color those in too. Ooh, I have to find my glasses. I think they're in the other room. All right, yay! So that is Nana the monkey. Now, we have drawn that one time, and now I have this cool paper that has it, we painted all over it. That was when we were working. Remember Amelia and we did that painting, and then I cut out those? So I am, Um, I am, sorry, I was reading a message. I am going to draw a little Nana the monkey right here. Now you could also use just a piece of white paper. You can see I have a lot of leftover paper. Or you could use, yeah, and the paper, it's better if it's thick paper, but if you don't have thick paper, remember what I said the other day? You could use a lot of different things. You could use a, a cereal box. You could use a, a box from crackers. And it's basically... Uh, you're going to draw the picture on there and you could glue white paper on top and cut it out like that. So then you have more thick. All right. So right now I will draw. Uh, I'll just use the white one. Should I use the white one or the, or the rainbowed one? I'll use the white one. Okay, so I'm going to put this up here. This is my little extra piece of paper. I'm going to draw the circle right here for Nana. This was our practice. Now we're going to do one more which is the last one, okay? I'm gonna use a little clipboard, which I always use, so I can show you guys more up close. 
There we go. And yes, Elizabeth, yes, I was reading your message. Um, yes, I'm going to model it again and I'm going to do more up close. Are you ready? Here we go. First, there's the circle. It could also be an oval. I have to I have to move the words. Okay. Okay, and it is I'm going to do a little one now. So this is for a puppet. So first it's a circle or an oval, and then the next thing I did was, do you remember? That's right. <laughs> I'm going to do the ears. So the ears are like little buttons on the side, see? And then the next thing is the the nose. And it's going to be an upside down triangle. And you can color it in. You see the upside down triangle? Okay, I'll give you a chance, a second to do that. So we did three things so far, the oval, the ears, and the nose. Okay, the next part, it's going to be two little letter U's. It looks like the letter U for the mouth. One on this side, one on this side. Kind of like the letter U. Sometimes I like to use the example of letters because people who are learning their alphabet or who already know how to read, that's going to make it easier for them. Or we'll use basic shapes like triangle, square, circle. And then from that, we can create so many different things. I take my model from a gentleman named Ed Imberley, who when I was a little kid, he was the one that was, he created the books um, Make a World, I think they're called. Oh, really wonderful books. Okay, and then the next part are the the eyes. And so those are going to be two rainbows. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot something. The hair, el pelo, ¿verdad? So that's going to be the letter M. It's like cloud, clouds M, which is to say not like strong mountains, but more round like clouds, right? So there we did that part. Are you with me? Okay. And then the last part are the, ooh, ooh, the little eyes. And those are going to be two rainbows. You see? And then you can draw the, the eyes, the circle of the eye, and you can color that in too. Now the only thing that I did not do on this one from the other one is the mouth. If you wanted to make the mouth look like open, like Nana's talking, like that. So then you can make a little letter U down there. It's not a tongue. If you color it in, it looks like the mouth. I mean, I guess it could look like the tongue, but it's supposed to be the mouth. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't have my glasses on right now, so. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right, that's the little monkey, and now we're going to cut it out. So get your scissors if you have scissors. And then we're going to need some kind of a stick. So when we cut it out, it's okay if we don't cut like right on the edge. It's okay if we just make a circle and cut around. That's okay too. It depends. I'll show you the two different ways that I did it. All right, so for example, the one way I did it is like this, where I did cut around the edge. That's fun. And another way I did is where I just cut like a circle or just around. Again, this one is not all the way, but it still is a great puppet. Okay, and now if you want, we can color it in. Let's, you know what sometimes I like to do is color around or color the hair, but leave the face white-ish. Let's see, I think I'll do, let's do some blue around the edge that makes it pop. This is kind of an interesting thing that I like to do sometimes. All right, I'm going to just draw right around the edge and then we'll get to our yoga, okay? So I'm not going to draw the actual monkey, but I'm going to color like a, 
how do you say, like a, a frame around the face of the monkey. How's that, guys? You like that? Yeah, like just the frame around. So that looks like could be the sky. And maybe on the bottom, I'm going to do a little bit different color. I use these Tombow markers that has the one side, it's a sponge, and the other side, it's a felt tip. They're about $3 each in the States, and I, I like them. They're actually from Japan, Tombow, T-O-M-B-O-W. And I like those. They're nice for older kids, like around four and older. Or if a younger kid could also have fun doing it, but not press down too hard. So it takes a little bit of, you know, a uh, skill in learning pressure, or like how to not press, press too hard. All right. And then we did yellow on the bottom. That's kind of fun. Some spring colors. And then maybe I'll just color in the hair. What should I color the hair? Okay, that's always a good question. If my friend Lucy was here, she would say pink. Amelia, you say purple, right? Okay, I'm going to do purple because Amelia's here with me. And Bruno, ¿cuál es tu color favorito? Bruno, ¿tiene un color favorito o le gusta todos los colores? A ver. Okay, so I'm going to do of purple. Let's see what I have. Ah, I have this very light purple. It's like a lavender. Let's see. You see, isn't it pretty? Ah, colors are so fun, aren't they? Yeah, I like to go light sometimes because if you go too dark, sometimes it's overpowering on the art. All right, we're just having fun here in our circle time, right? If we're at home, why not have fun together? So every day, Monday through Friday, I'm going live here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, Nana the monkey in one of the characters in the story wants to have a stick so she can be a real puppet. So now we're going to find a stick. Today I'm just going to use a jelly roll marker that's spelled with a G, jelly roll. And this is one that got all used up from the kids. But we don't throw away the plastic part because we could use that. So I'm gonna put it right on the back. Isn't that clever? So we don't have to throw stuff away. I'm gonna put that right on the back with the lid and everything. And then I'm gonna get a piece of tape. I'm gonna use this strong tape here. You know, you can also use duct tape or, Amelia, what did you use the other day? It was like a masking tape, like that sort of paper tape. That's okay too. As long as it just sticks down, you're good. Okay, I got a piece here. It's probably too big because I'm doing with one hand. And then I'm going to tape the back right there. Mm hmm Ah, not too big. Okay. And then we have the stick on the back. Isn't that fun? Doot, doot, doot. It's almost like a lollipop. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that was fun. I love it. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I remember Elizabeth. Okay, well, this is one of our puppets. So if we were going to have a little puppet show, this is a preview from tomorrow, tomorrow, Friday, Friday, we're going to do our real puppet show and we'll have, so you guys make sure and be here at 10 o'clock. We're going to do our puppet show tomorrow. Okay, Friday. And look, ta -da! <laughs> so here's the preview. Once upon a time, there were little birds that were flying around in the sky, tweet, 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 and they found their friend named Nana the monkey. And Nana the monkey said, friends, friends up in the sky, I love to fly too. And they laughed at Nana, you can't fly. Nana said, but, but I, I, I can. I have my cousin that's from India that's named Hanuman. Hanuman knows how to fly. Oh, but, and, but, but I want to fly too. Show me how, show me how. I left India before my cousin could show me. Oh, and so the bird said, tweet, 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 tweet. We're, we're very busy right now. We can't help you. Oh, Nana felt sad. And so Nana wanted to learn how to fly. Can you guys help Nana learn how to fly? Oh, she's jumping up. Oh, she's jumping up. Ooh, but she doesn't know how to fly. Well, if you want to hear the rest of that, 
puppet show story. You have to tune in tomorrow. Oops, I'm having difficulty. Okay, so now we're going to push everything to the side and we're going to do our yoga, okay? I'm going to put you up here on top of my boxes of toys. Okay, let's get you situated. Now, hold on a second, people. All right, where there's a will, there's a way. I decided that I need a camera crew <laughs> and I need a better camera, which I do have. I just have to learn how to use it on the weekend. Also, I'm thinking to paint this background black and have new artwork on it. Let's see if I do it on the weekend. Okay, say goodbye to Nana for now and the birds flying away. All right, okay, so. Changing the set, changing the set, and now it's time to do some yoga. Are you guys ready to do some yoga? Stretchy, did you wear your stretchy clothes? I always wear my stretchy clothes. So it's it's a stretchy yoga pants, right? And stretchy yoga shirt. <laughs> okay, great. So the first thing we're going to do, because today is Thursday, and sometimes on Thursday I like to work on numbers, we are going to do it. Mm-hmm. The are you ready? Are you sure? Oh my goodness. Okay. It's the one to 10 up and down song. Get it, better get some water. Drink some water, people. Ah, okay. Are you ready? Let's see if we get this right. Amelia Bruno, have you learned this song yet? Quieres aprenderlo? Let's see if I missed any. Oh, pink, how wonderful. Bruno, tu color favorito es rosada. Mira, aquí, como esto, ¿verdad? Hey, bueno, bueno, bueno. <clears throat> All right. Thank you for telling me, Alexandra. Okay, let's see if I, did I miss anybody here? Just want to make sure. Okay, good. Just checking all my messages. And are you ready to do one to ten up and down song? All right, ready? We say one, show me one. Show me one. One, one, one. Okay. One, one, the bright round sun. We run, run, run with the number one. Up, down, up, down. And show me two. Two, two, red and blue. Free to be me and you. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Can't just watch, you have to do it with me. Everybody get up. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, and now show me three. Three, three, a uh, swing in a tree. Up and down with the number three. Show me swinging. And now we're gonna go slow. Up, down, up, down. Now show me four. Four, one, two, three. Usually by this time, my heart is going boom, boom, boom. Feel your heart. Oh, that's just, we only did four so far. We still have six more to go. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> And I, and I do a lot of exercise, so you, <laughs> so you guys must be also tired. Okay, my heart is going boom, 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 and that means more, more, more. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Like the drums, like Mr. Goofy. All right, show me five. Five, five, one, two, three, four, five. Five, five, my beehive. Yellow bees are buzzing by. Bzzz. Now we're going to go slow up down up down now show me six that's one two three four five plus how many plus one five plus one okay six six a house of sticks build it up with the muddy mix now we're gonna go fast up and down up and down up and down up and down now seven one two three four five six seven that's five plus two. Seven, seven, bread with leaven. Puff it up with the number seven. Now go slow, up, down, up, down. Now eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three over on this side and five on this side. Did you do it? Okay, don't sit down, you're gonna go with me. We say eight, eight, I feel great. <laughs> Having fun with the number eight. 
And now we're gonna go fast, ready? Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, now, about this time, same like four, my heart is saying, boom, 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 boom. Give me some more, give me some more, give me some more. All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, plus one, two, three, four. How much is that? Five plus four equals what? Nine. <laughs> nine, nine, a lemon rind. No, it's an orange rind. Nine, nine, an orange rind. Having fun, uh, summer fun with a lemon rind. Okay, I'm sure I messed that one up, but that's okay. Now we're going to go slow. Ready? Up down up down last one if uh, what comes after nine ding 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 ten five and five five plus five equals right ten okay ten ten <laughs> oh my gosh i forgot what ten was ah oh, right i remember ten ten the fish is thin Swimming fun with the number 10. Ready to go fast? Last one. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, now sit down, everybody. Sit down, sit down. This is now your crisscross applesauce time of our Keto Kids Yoga Circle. <laughs> Woo, fill your heart. Put one foot on the bottom, one foot on top, and... Let's begin some more yoga. We have, this is our roof. Show me your roof. Keeps us dry and warm. Hands together, our heart is our home. Namaste, little one, or namaste, big one. Yes. Now we're going to have a contest to see who can say home the longest. So if my heart is my home, right here. Where's your heart? Uh, okay, your heart is right here in the middle of your chest. If that's where my heart is, how about I'm going to take a big breath in my nose and then I'm going to say home. home. Yes, our heart is our home. Home. <laughs> Did you say home for a really long time? You want to try it one more time? Okay, I'll give you a chance. We're going to breathe in through our nose and then say home out of our mouth, okay? Big one, big one. Breathe deeply in your nose. Smell, smell, smell. Ready? Hello means I welcome you. How about squeeze, squeeze, squeeze yourself. Squeeze yourself to say, I love myself so much. And now open your arms to say, I love to my, say love to everybody else. Ooh, love to everybody else. Other side, ooh, love to everybody else. That's right, love to myself, love to you. Love to everybody. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's do some tick-tock, tick-tock. Tick tock, tick tock, how about ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Are you doing it? Oh, good, okay. <clears throat> Don't just watch me, we're gonna go around and around, and the other way, round and around. Woo, and squeeze, stinky cheese. <laughs> squeeze it up, squeeze your shoulders, squeeze, 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 and uh, let go. Wow, squeeze like you're holding something. What are you holding? What are you holding now? Let it go. Whew. Yeah, nice one. Okay. And now when we reach up like a plant growing up higher, 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 up high to the sky, say hello. Hello, birds. Hello, birds. Please teach Nana how to fly. Let's see what happens tomorrow. And my friend Becky is watching. Hi, Becky. Okay, raise your hand up, 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 up high. And hello to the birds. Hanuman, are you up there? Nana wants to learn how to fly. The story tomorrow, we are going to hear it. That's right, reach up high, 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 high. 
more, 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 bigger, 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 bigger. Woo! <laughs> ah, if you want to hear the story about how Nana the monkey, where's her puppet? We made a puppet today. How Nana the monkey is going to show me your puppet. Everybody, get your puppets. All right. You can make one too if you watch this from the beginning of this video later. Tomorrow is going to be the story of how Nana learned to fly. What? Monkeys don't fly. But Hanuman knew how to fly. And you know that Nana is originally from India and her cousin is Hanuman. That's right. That's right. All right. So we have been sitting down for a long time and now it's time to stand up. Is it? Do, 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 do. That's the wake up. That's the wake up body. Okay, this is how we stand up. This is how my brother Duncan says stand up. First, you put your feet side by side, and then you push your body up. Sit, don't slide. And then we put our hands down like this, and we stretch out, cross and open cross and open, right? And then we're going to raise our seat up. I'm just turning so you can see me. Raise your seat up and let your head hang down. And here I'm going to step on my hands. What? I'm stepping on my hands. Why am I doing that? Because it feels really good and when I try to raise my back up, oh, I can't do it. I can't get up. Oh, I better just relax. I'll try again. Oh, oh. No, I can't get up. Just relaxing. But now I'm going to take my hands out. That's right. And I'm going to bend my knees. See that? Bend my knees with my hands down. And then I'm going to round my back. And air goes out. Like a rocket ship. And then air goes in. Ooh, feels good. Namaste. That's how I stand up. How do you like that? Yep, got a lot of energy today. It must be this red dress. This is my energy dress, or it's because you guys are here. My energy people. Very good. Now we have a little bit more time to do a little tiny, 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 tiny bit of yoga. Do you have a, re a special request? I know what Becky wants to do. My friend Pixie is here and she wants to do a handstand. What? <laughs> I'm wearing a dress, I can't do a handstand. <laughs> but sometimes people do where they put their hands down, they have to have a pillow here. So in our school, we have some, we have some nice pillows here. And then if I put my hands down here, and then I climb up on the wall, that's kind of fun, right? Could you do that? <laughs> All right. Becky calls wall work, right, Becky? Okay, let's do a balancing pose. I didn't see any comments. Okay. Did I miss something? All right. So if you don't if you didn't tell me what pose to do, I am going to show you this one. This is our very last pose and then we're going to have a story time. Yeah. We've been doing this for almost 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. And so now it's almost time to go. So the pose, which is a very popular pose among many children is, guess what? What did you say? Aha, uh -huh. the tree pose. Okay, so this one is a balancing pose where you're going to stand with your feet kind of together. They could be one fist size apart, right? Remember that from yogi guards? And then bend your knees and relax and relax. And then we're going to bring one foot up and one foot down. Relax, relax. One foot up, hold, balance, and one foot down. Now when I, this is the tree pose, right? So when I go up again, hold on, let me tie my dress up. When I go up again, then I'm going to grab my foot like that. Now for little kids, that might be very hard. So you can put your foot right there. Whoa, 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 like that. But if for older people, because we have even grown-ups watching today, right? So we are going to take our foot and we're going to glue it right there to our leg and squeeze, squeeze it all in. 
open everything up open open and we are going to have our whoa I'm totally falling over we are going to have our hands here at our heart and then we're going to go up 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 good job everybody okay now let's do the other side now for kids I know you can't hold it that long that's okay you can hold it here hey even if you had to you can hold the wall right and that's okay but your goal is to not hold the wall if you can help it so so even a foot here a foot here a foot here whatever you can do that's good for you and you can count to see how long you can hold it okay are you ready for the other side so our feet could be like about a fist width apart bend bend your knees bend your knees and now knee up and hold plant your root squeeze 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 plant the root of the tree oh i feel solid right now i could i feel like i could just stand here forever just like a statue and you'd come back tomorrow and here i still would be waiting for you and for you to say one two three oh wake up oh my goodness all right and so from here we're going to take our hands and we're going to make them go up 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 Ooh and opening up everything opening my shoulder opening my hips knee goes back yes and shook 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 all right guys that is the end of our little yoga session the whole class was just 30 minutes we did some fun artwork let me show you we were working on this board mm-hmm aha and we were making our little puppets that we have here, our little ladybug, Ooh, our monkey for the story. And now it's time for our story story. You know, even though I finished, I finished the story. I almost said Kalidasa starts a bakery. Oops. Even though I finished the story, that's the winter story, that I finished our spring story. I feel that I should start reading it again. Maybe for you guys, that's you like that or you don't like that, but I feel like I should start reading it again. So I'm going to read from my new book. This is the Keto Kids Club, and you could see this is Siobhan the Mermaid, spoilers, and Sweetie the Salmon, or preview, and it's called Uma and the Crystal Balls, and you can get this as a download and then put it in your own binder and then add the artwork little by little as, as I upload it and send it to you. And it has yoga in it. It has little yoga cards with yoga rhymes. It has 50 pages of content. It's a lot. Stuff for teachers, stuff for parents. Only $10, what? <laughs> so go to the website, support me and my family business, and also just show me, yeah, I'm into this, okay? So go to my website, K-I-D-O, Kido, kidsyoga.com, and go to the shop. I've been working a lot on the website, so tell me what you think. All right, feedback. All right, so now I need my glasses. Well, let's see if I could read without them. Good luck, Heather. Good luck in reading that. Okay, we're almost done here. We've gone a little bit over. All right, so glad you're all here with me. Turn to the page. Let's see. Oh yeah, so what was I saying? So in this cool book, we have yoga, games, art, story the story the story is the base for everything and i'm going to start over at chapter one what do you think of that i just decided just now uma and the crystal balls what i say here is that this is an original story for spring this is the foundation of our spring fun we can read read one or more chapters throughout the week to children mm -hmm. sometimes we repeat the same chapter over and over and that keeps us connected. It can be a source of pretend play, the base of activities. The story is a really important part of our program. It's true. All right, chapter one. Far below our world lives a beautiful place. To get there, you must get wet. This story goes deep into the water where mermaids and mermen hide in the seaweed and magic from the earth mixes in the deep. We begin in a meadow inland from the sea. 
Shy Uma the horse, remember Uma the horse? Loved to dance in the fields of flowers by himself. He would run, run, run. He could even twirl on one leg and this way and that. Can you imagine the horse could twirl on one leg? One morning when he danced an especially beautiful dance in the meadow, he could smell the flowers and the grasses as he brushed up against them. His, uh, his glossy brown and white coat was flashing in the sun. Why was he dancing in the meadow? Because it was spring and the big egg gathering with all the animals was going to happen today. There he is, Uma the horse. <laughs> Do you want to know what Uma's dance looked like? Okay, let's dance it together. You guys ready? We say we're going to balance up. Yee, Uma to the right, and then we're going to run, run, run. And yee, Uma to the left, and run, run, run. I know Amelia knows this dance. Twirl around so gracefully. Twirl again. We're going to try to twirl on one foot. Now face me. <laughs> so that's how Uma was dancing. And Uma thought that he was all alone. Uma took a bow for fun. Do you know that? Take a bow. Yes. And then he heard someone clapping softly like this. Can you do that? clapping softly and he felt shy because he thought no one was watching him. Who's clapping? He looked to the right, but there was no one. He looked to the left, but there was no one. He looked up, but he only saw Red Robin flying in the sky. And then he looked down and he saw a soft white rabbit with blue eyes staring at him. <laughs> Oh, said Uma, I didn't think anyone was watching me. And he was putting his head down like that. My name is Lemongrass, said the rabbit quietly. My name is Uma, he said shyly. That's the sound of a rabbit clapping. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have come to the end of our beautiful, beautiful morning session. I'm Heather Kamala, and this is Keto Kids Yoga, live and recorded. And I send you so much love. You're in your homes. Just enjoy, draw pictures, make puppet shows, do yoga, have fun, read stories, play games. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Friday and for the finished story of Nana the monkey wanted to fly. Okay, love you all so much. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Oh, I didn't say bye to Elias. Bye, Elias. Bye, Amelia. <laughs> bye, Bruno. Adios, Becky. Bye, everybody. Bye.